and welcome to day three of the Atlantic hurricane season and the Central Pacific hurricane season. Also day 20 in the Eastern Pacific and currently looking at the World Tropics. Uh, Invest 90L was declassified yesterday but the area of interest in the Atlantic still remains a 10% chance on a new system that's formed near the uh, Cuban coast uh, in the Yucatan Channel. Um, we also have two, uh, three other invests, 96A in the Arabian Sea, 97B in the Bay of Bengal and 96W in the Western Pacific. You can see it there on the Pacific Ocean satellite at the moment. It's a little bit further back from where 95 West was. Uh, that one dissipated, well, uh, was declassified as well yesterday. And here we have 96W, which is currently to the north of, um, north of the equator, just north of the equator. Um, and to the south uh, west of the uh, Micronesian Islands as well. The Atlantic Ocean, here's the area of interest currently. Uh, what was Barbara 90L is still a uh, few clouds associated with that in the southern Atlantic. There'll be a better view coming up shortly. Um, so let's look at the Indian Ocean. But in the meantime, you can see 96A and 97B currently there, in, um, pointed out in the, uh, in the seas there. 96A in the uh, Arabian Sea. Not, neither of them are likely to form over the next few days, but you never know, there may be some opportunity. Let's look at the sea surface temperatures then. Uh, not much change from what we've seen recently. Um, high temperatures, 28 degrees and above in the eastern Pacific, 27 degrees and above in most of the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea in the Atlantic, and out in the open waters. Um, many areas towards the south are above 26. And looking in the Indian Ocean, warm waters here, 29 or 30 degrees and above in the Arabian Sea and off the Indian coast in the Bay of Bengal, 30 degree waters or more there. So let's take a look at Invest 96W, the track forecast according to computer models. It's currently located at 3 degrees north, 150 degrees east, with wind speeds of 20 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,010 millibars, and is expected to go in a generally west-northwest um, direction over the next few days, possibly um, g going close to Palau, but not likely to develop over the next few days. Looking at the Gulf of Mexico, you can see the cloud coverage here, uh, mainly centered around the southern um, Gulf of Mexico Bay of Compache area, area and the uh, bit between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba, where that system was, um, well, I first noted it myself yesterday. Um, it was visible on the last update, starting to develop a little bit, and you can still see it there, posing perhaps a threat over the next uh, few days in the distance in the Atlantic. So let's take a look at the uh, floater imagery, the satellite loops here. This is Invest 96W, I believe. You can see the imagery of the storm trying to get its act together at the moment out in the Western Pacific. Uh, perhaps uh, some formation in a few days' time on that one. And here's Invest 97B, um, not managing to keep its cloud cover at the moment, but um, that will certainly be interesting to watch as well, especially if it continues to move towards the west out in the open waters of the Bay of Bengal. As I said, of course, low chance of development for this storm, as is the case with all the others pointed out so far in this video. So let's take a look at the uh, model ones then, the CMC. You can see developing that system and moving it into the Florida region, into northern Florida, along the uh, eastern coast as perhaps a strong tropical storm, maybe a minimum hurricane, and then moving off to the northeast, to, uh, straddling the coast almost. The ECMWF has something similar, perhaps a little bit weaker, um, forming and going, sweeping through Florida and moving off to the northeast, probably becoming extra tropical fairly quickly in the process. Uh, the GFS doesn't predict such a strong system, predicts perhaps a weak tropical storm, uh, pro probably disorganised as well as it moves through Florida and then accelerates off to the uh, northeast. And the NABGEM as well, not giving much away as usual, um, with some low pressure situated towards the south of the Gulf of Mexico, perhaps not even development on the system according to that one. So let's take a look at the overall predictor season scores as of June the 3rd, 2013. No change of course because no storms have formed, no hurricanes have formed or anything like that. So the scores remain the same, 111 for Ken in first place, Type from Boba with 104, Theo with 103. Those are the top three at the moment. And maybe you could end up finding yourself in the top three at the end of the year. You can submit your prediction on the Force 13 website. Just search, um, just find the predictor season button under the interactive menu bar um, and you should find it. And uh, 
do the prediction and see how well you do by the end of the year. A lot of these uh, would have had a few zero values in their predictions to have such a high score at this early stage. So let's take a look at what happened on this day on June the 3rd. You can see here 1975, Agatha becoming a hurricane in the eastern Pacific. The next year, Tropical Storm Annette forming in the eastern Pacific as well. In 1979, Andres becomes a hurricane in the eastern Pacific. In 1981, Tropical Depression 2 formed near Veracruz in Mexico. In 82, Alberta became a hurricane in the Atlantic. And Tropical Storm Allison formed in the Atlantic as well in 1995. Tropical Depression Ellie formed in Western Pacific that year as well. 2005, Nasap peaked as a Category 4 storm. And of course, Cyclone Gonu peaked as a Category 5 storm in the North Indian Ocean in 2007. And Typhoon Nakri turned post-tropical in 2008 on this day on June the 3rd. Don't forget, you can track any storm that forms at the website force13.com forward slash stormtracking.html. That'll take you straight to the storm tracking pages where you can see basin by basin each storm as they form and dissipate and of course the warning information as it becomes relevant you can also find us on the social channels track us if you wish uh, youtube.com forward slash force 13 that's our video page facebook and twitter as well just search force 13 you should find us easily enough and don't forget to uh, like follow and subscribe and show your support uh, another update coming up in uh, tomorrow that'll be for june the 4th